Dad nothing out cold. A big bump and a strange sense of nostalgia. Crumpled in a broken, delirious heap before the gates of the farmhouse. Time passed in uneven flashes as I drifted in and out of consciousness. So why in the world are characters in young adult novels always getting knocked out? This was the question I chose to try to find an answer for, for my research paper. In order to do this, I went to the YALSA 2015 Top 10 Young Adult Fiction book list and tried to figure out what patterns authors were following. Turns out seven of these 10 books feature unconsciousness, and the quotes I read earlier were from four of these novels. So as I was looking for patterns and similarities among these novels, I realized that authors really use three key ways, um, or they use unconsciousness in three key ways, to move along the plot and shape the characters. Um, the first way is just as a plot device. For example, it's much easier in uh, the story of Owen, Dragon Slayer of Trottenheim, for the author to have the narrator get knocked out, wake up in a hospital, and have his friends explain to him exactly what happened and how the helicopter rescued them, rather than going through all the tedious details of the rescue and the burning fire and all of the drama. So in that sense, unconsciousness acts as a very clean way to move from one uh, plot point to another. Another way that unconsciousness is used as a sort of symbolic rebirth or call to action. This is seen in the story of Van Gogh, where he goes to this mysterious island and discovers all these monks living there. Um, once he's discovered, he's drugged and then wakes up back home. But at this point in time, his curiosity is piqued, and he decides to go back to the island, and because of this, he discovers a lot of secrets that force him to kind of reconfront his simple life and sends him on an adventure during the time period of World War II. So unconsciousness acts as this barrier between old life and new life that causes the main characters to reassess their lives and values. The last way is using unconsciousness to characterize um, the characters in a unique way. This is seen in Noggin as Travis has a severe case of cancer and so his parents decide to take drastic measures and remove his head, freeze it, and have it placed on someone else's body five years in the future. In this Rip Van Winkle style, he has to confront life and adolescence in a completely new way that wouldn't be possible without this moment of unconsciousness. So each of these books uses unconsciousness, being knocked out, or passing out in a different situation in order to shape or support the plot. Even though there may not be one clear answer as to why authors use this, it's obvious that it serves a plethora of purposes depending on the content and context of the novel. Thank you.